first day, you think there's going to be someone else they find. There'll be someone else. There's that pocket that someone was fortunate enough to be caught in, and, and there'll be another. There'll be a miracle. After a few days, you find out that there, there just weren't going to be any miracles like that that were going to happen down here. My sister was lost on April 19th. She was one of the last ones that they actually found. We had someone that tried to virtually knock us to our knees and to to bring us to absolute to an absolute standstill. That day, the world did stop. The world did stand still, and all the eyes of the world turned to Oklahoma. And we stood up and shook ourselves off and said, "This is not going to stop us. This is not going to deter who we are, where we're going." I've been on the board, I've been a, a member of the organization since almost the beginning and, and tried to help with things as needed, but to be asked to chair is such an honor, something I never anticipated. To bring it all together and to, you know, from what happened to almost a conclusion of it, is, is very personal to me that, that, that there is that cycle of justice that does happen. To tell that story again, to say that you know someone didn't get get away with what they thought they could get away with, that you are responsible, you are accountable for what you do and, and, and your actions. The phenomenal changes that will be happening with the uh, reconstruction project, bringing it up to date, making it more relevant, that educational aspect, that's, that's just overwhelming. Violence and terrorism, bullying for the kids right now, that, that's not the way you do things. That's not the answer. It doesn't solve anything. I want them to come away from here saying that there are other options, there are other answers, and to, to gain that for themselves, but also gain the ability to take that message and to go forward and share it with others. My son is here, Davis, and my three nieces, Rosalyn, Blaine, and Chelsea, the little girls have lost their mom. Their life was turned totally and completely upside down they were given the opportunity at that point either to give in to that or to say, no, that's not who we are, and to pick ourselves up and go forward and, and be strong. And that's that's what they did. I mean, they are they are just the most remarkable young women I've ever seen in my life. To me, it's not a sad place. To me, it's a it's rebirth, it's hope, it's going forward. It brings you such a sense of calm and and peace that you would hope everyone in some respect would find that same feeling while they're here.